They are moving up to 145 pound weight class. Section four and section three. Section four, Tom Kingston out of Waverly. And out of Watertown, New York, is Seamus Lyman. Sophomore. So we've got a sophomore, Lyman's a sophomore, and Kingston, a junior. And both of these guys are veterans. Actually, Kingston was fourth, first in the sectionals 88, but he's also in his intersectionals in 87 and 88. So although not state season, these guys definitely have wrestled it in the sections up to this point. And you've got a sophomore, Seamus Lyman, and Kingston, a junior. Lyman from section three. Kingston from section four. Yeah, Dale, even as a sophomore, uh, Lyman has wrestled 100 matches so far. I was just, ch I was just checking it's, that, uh, you know. It's they, just amazing. You talk about season, after after one season, a freshman or an eighth grader is a veteran right. with all the exposure they get to the different wrestlers in the state tournaments, sectionals, summer tournaments. Section three had five wrestlers, or has five wrestlers in these finals. Section four has four. Right now, there's no score. Lyman and Kingston. Lyman, section three in the gold. Shoots on Kingston, nothing going. No, he kept his head down, he didn't back out. Uh, didn't cost him this time, but he's gonna have to back out a little bit more cautiously. You see so many wrestlers shoot in and pause a second and boom, the other man scoots around, spins and turns, gets two points. No points, we're heading down to 30 seconds left in the first period. 30 seconds right now in this first period, no score. Waverly's Tom Kingston, Watertown, Seamus Lyman. Once again, they seem to be quite cautious. The standing, section 11 at this point has 214 points, section four with 189, section three, 173 in third place. So it's 11, four, and three, the sections at this point leading the state tournament. And surprisingly, as we said, section eight does not have a person in the finals and will not be a factor this year. They're gonna flip. Seamus Lyman, I think he's gonna take bottom. He does make the decision, and it will be bottom. But uh, Kingston is uh, telling the ref he's, he's bleeding from the mouth or? His ear, I think is. Uh, oh, the ear, okay. I don't know what they're. Well, <laughs> that side of the headgear is all red, I guess he's bleeding. He said, whatever it is, let's pick up the pace here. They like to keep these things going. So it will be Kingston down, Lyman on top. No score. Let's see what kind of moves we get. Off the bottom. Switch, step over. Mo, oh, nice move by Kingston. No points. Uh, probably Whistle. get one point. Yes. Uh, good call by the official. Gave him an escape. I tell you, Lyman could have uh, definitely been called for two point reversal on that. Quickness on Kingston after a Kind of a weak move initially. He exactly. He just kind of said, I don't know, collected his thoughts for maybe two seconds and then reacted great. But the intensity in the second period is definitely picked up from the first. I think their game plans are established. Seamus trying to get the hand to wrist control, and then Kingston tries to shoot hard. And now he gets backed out by Lyman. And he shoots in again. Tries to scoop up the single leg to the uh, his right side. So he's got, both men have to open up. I mean, it, this is the state championship, and uh, I'm sure both of them want to win and not give the, the match away, but both are going to have to open up a little bit. Seamus Lyman down by one, and they're both going to be warned for stalling. And Seamus Lyman looking at his coaches, I think, would like to get a idea of what they would like him to do. Now they tie up aggressively right from the beginning. Lyman has been warned, as has Kingston. 
and uh, Tom Kingston headgear has come off. Lots of advice from the fans as this 145 pound bout kind of settles down into a kind of a scoreless duel. There's one point scored, but not a lot of offensive action. Moving down to 35 seconds left in this second period. As Kingston ties up the arm, they wrestle on the out of bounds. Two points. Well, that's going to be two and two then. They're going to call him out of oh. bounds. The official's going to look at that. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a discussion there. He, he doesn't want to call this one by himself, whether it's two reversal, two takedown. At the worst, they should do is, is probably give Section 3 one point for improving his position. Let's see. The official table wants a little bit of discussion on this. Let's see where the points lie. I really, I really didn't catch the, uh, that, that, that's what it is. It's a two point takedown by Kingston and one point escape by Lyman. Three to one it will be then. 25 seconds left in the second period. It was, the move was right on the edge of the mat. Both the takedown and the escape. And he sits in for a dump. Uh, he tried. Tried and he got stuck. He got caught halfway through the move. That's right. It looked like he was going to come through in pretty good shape. Instead, he ends up losing four points on the exchange. Seamus Lyman, as you said, got caught, got stuck halfway through, and that gives a large advantage to Tom Kingston, make it 8-1, so a seven-point edge for Kingston as we end the second and begin the third period and Seamus Lyman has got a lot of ground to make up. All right, after, after that move, uh, Dale, he looked at his coaches and his coach said, settle down a lot of time, you know, collect yourself, let's score some points, take it with a, a point at a time right now. Of course now, strategy-wise, Kingston can do a lot less. <laughs> That's right, he, he can sit on top, which he's doing, I'm not saying he's defensive, but he doesn't have to work as hard as he has been. They go out of bounds. He can, uh, you know, start riding the lineman, using up a little bit of the clock. He definitely doesn't want to get into a uh, brawl with lineman because that's in terms of confusion and not being set in what he wants to do. Right, the uh, Seamus has has nothing to lose right now. I mean, he's he's down by seven. He's got to throw everything at Tom Kingston he can think of, and he does get the one point. Escape. 8-2 now. So now if you're Kingston, you're saying, I got to stay away from the big ones. And of course, if you're Lyman, you say, I got to get me something quickly here. That's right. Kingston is in on the dump this time. Aggressive. He's going to get two. He's, he's got no points at the nope. moment, but he's in deep. He there does he have does. the two points there now. There he got it. Yep. Lyman reaches for the wizard, try to control him, bring him around front. He's trying to hip toss him here. Hip Nearly out hip. of bounds. Hip to hip. He should get one point if they go out of bounds, maybe two. He did improve his position. One, 10-3. Lyman still down by seven. With Neutral 103 position. in the third period. <laughs> 50 seconds, 50 seconds right now. Seamus Lyman from section three. Trying desperately, he got double underhooks. Double underhooks, goes to a trip, and he's got... Oh, he let up for a second again, Dale, and he gave yeah. away two points. He thought he had a couple points in the bag. Just didn't follow through quite enough. I think he was, obviously he was trying for that five-point move with the, with the underhooks, try to throw him, get the takedown in the... He thought he had it, he thought yep. the move was going. Uh, Tom Kingston had other thoughts, stopped the move, got two points. So Kingston way up on top now. As we're down to 15 and counting. The lead is at nine. You hear the countdown in the background. It's four seconds to go. Section four picking up another state championship title. 12-3 win for Tom Kingston in a match that started slowly but ended with a flurry. 
as Kingston defeats Seamus Lyman from Watertown in section three, 12 to three, and Seamus Lyman, only a sophomore, will be back, but Kingston's only a junior. He'll be back too. So 145 pound, the new state champion from Waverly, New York, Tom Kingston. Section four.